Although some conditions can't be detected directly, many diseases do leave markers in the blood, biomarkers. But even detecting these can be tricky and slow. The biomarkers might only be there in tiny amounts. And besides, your blood has to be collected and then sent to some central pathology lab somewhere else. The whole thing can take hours or even days. But here is something that can take minutes. First, take some blood, which may or may not smell like blackcurrant cordial, and dip in some of this magic test strip. The blood creeps up the tiny capillaries, ready for testing. Pop it into this box, add a cheap smartphone fitted with an even cheaper magnifying lens and an LED. Then add some testing liquids, which wash away the blood, leaving only the biomarkers, which glow in the illuminated, magnified smartphone camera's image. The brighter the image, the more biomarkers your blood contains, and the more a clinician needs to make a judgment on your condition. This is another example of how smartphones, even low-cost ones like this, can be used for diagnostics, either in the developing world where you're away from high-tech equipment or even in hospitals here too. Let's look, for example, at heart attack. There is a biomarker clinically adopted to help ruling out a heart attack for patients showing chest pain. Chest pain is responsible for around 1 million patients reported to any every year. Actually, only a quarter do actually have a heart problem. Whole of those patients have to stay overnight because the test for the biomarker takes so long. But with this? With this, you can do things quicker and near the patients. Yeah, this fluoropolymer strip has the same refractive index as water, which means it becomes completely transparent when filled with a clear liquid, giving a brilliantly clear image of the offending biomarkers, even at low levels. And crucially, detecting them at such low levels is what's been difficult up until now. Smartphone has a very cheap optical electronic component, which is the camera can do pretty much the same job as the optical detection system in bulky uh, equipment that sits in central pathology labs. And that's what becomes really powerful. It is a very clever, simple, miniaturized version of sophisticated central lab equipment.